flag will drop Sunday at 1 o'clock on ESPN. But before the race cars even show up at Talladega or the fans start packing the grandstands and the campgrounds, the facility gets a makeover and a big makeover. Lots of landscaping. As Kyle Berger found out, that also means lots of painting, the subject of tonight's Burger Bite. We kind of undercover, we kind of lost heroes. <laughs> we're behind the scene guys. People's coming in and out, you know, they say, oh, that's how you keep it so green. The grass is brown, but it still has to look its best for race day. We try to put paint on it to make the picture on the TV, you know, make it look greener and stuff like that. Not easy to keep it green without putting something on it. And, uh, you know, if you, if you fertilize it to make it greener, then you're going to have to cut it. It's turf paint, mostly, mixed with a little bit of nitrogen. For Talladega ground maintenance supervisor Johnny Hurst, his green boots are just the aftermath of having lush, healthy looking grass. You'll ruin a pair of shoes in a hurry. I'll spray, after you mix it up, probably 800 gallons. Uh, just on the, on the logo of the football field, what we call it alone, we'll spray probably maybe a thousand gallons before we do, so probably close to 2,000 gallons all together. I'm not sure if Johnny and his crew needed help, but they got it. So it takes five hours to empty this 200 gallon tank we have here. Flip it? Yeah. All the way around to there. Once you get started and you get up to 3.4, flip this lever forward and you'll start spraying out the back. I'm at Talladega. I figured I'd be driving a race car, not a spray rig. All right, 3.4, here we go. Almost to victory lane. So when you add it all up, it's about 15 acres they have to paint here at Talladega, and sometimes they have to go back and paint over a few things. In Talladega, I'm Kyle Berger, and that's a Burger Bite. Uh, that's, a good, that's a good one. All right. If you have an idea for a burger bite, send Kyle an email, kburger at wvtm.com. No word if you had to expense for some new shoes.